A wire-guided missile is literally connected to the firing post by a thin wire. The operator sends signals down the wire to steer it and make sure it hits the target first time. The Milan is the British Army's medium-range, wire-guided anti-tank weapon. It can travel more than a mile in 12.5 seconds. Loading! Loading! The American tow missile has a longer range of over two miles. Its warhead can smash through 32 inches of armor. Tanks are designed to confront the enemy head on, so their heaviest armor is at the front. But in the 1960s, the U.S. Air Force commissioned the A-10 Thunderbolt II specifically to attack the most vulnerable part of the tank, from above. The Gatling gun of the A-10 is capable of 4,000 rounds a minute. It fires armor-piercing bullets with a core of depleted uranium, which increases the force on impact. More recently, the F-16 fighter plane has taken on the role of tank buster. It is much more maneuverable and can get away to safety faster. Another five seconds and then have a break to the right. Okay. Go to five. Go that. Lighter say estimate. Uh, Chair Quebeco, about three. But in the last 15 years, the fixed-wing airplane has been pushed aside by the combat helicopter. Today, the chopper is the deadliest foe of the tank. The mast-mounted sight attached above the Tiger helicopter's main rotor transmits a digital picture to the pilot. He needs only to rise above his cover a short distance to launch a missile. Armed with Hellfire missiles, the Apache is America's main tank buster. The Hellfires are fire-and-forget weapons, which can fly up to three and a half miles to their targets. They are guided by a laser in the Apache's nose. Okay, I got the target. Coming down. That time. Your laser is armed, sir. Okay, come down. Okay, I got target right there. Roger. Let me go. Good help, Mark. Oh, you hit your ground. That's a new target. The very latest smart missiles can make their own decisions. Using onboard radar, they can identify specific targets, track them, and then destroy them. Now there is no hiding place for even the most sophisticated tank. Despite the risks which menace the tank, no other weapon system has yet replaced them as the leading force on the battlefield. The U.S. Army has 8,000 tanks standing by ready for action, a formidable fighting force.
but for any army to win a battle, their tanks have to be one step ahead of the enemy. For the U.S. Army alone, there are 1,100 people working on tank design of the future. The U.S. forces have been redeployed back to the continental United States, and therefore the combat vehicles must be lighter and more deployable. Plus, the number of people that we have in the Army is going down, and so you have to look at where you can do the same mission with fewer people. This is their prototype tank known as the Future Combat System. The overall goal of the 40-ton concept was to reduce the internal volume and make the, the system as small as possible. The primary parameter that we were trying to reduce was the overall height of the system, which uh, makes the system harder to detect at longer ranges. It has a much lower profile than a contemporary tank. This makes it much harder to see and hit. Crews will be reduced from four men to two, and instead of being seated in the turret, they will move down into the hull. In battle position inside the hull, they will be better protected, but their visibility will be restricted. You have to rely on sensors, both onboard and external, and import those into almost a virtual reality so that the individual can look in a 360 degree world the current crews we have have difficulty, but the younger generation appear to be much more adaptable to that type of technology. We right now have more input than the more normal sensors on the human body can handle. Uh, we would like to automate some of those, and he then applies what the human does best, which is decision making. Do I shoot, don't I? Do I fight, don't I? How can I best stay alive, and how can I best save my friends? The new lighter tank will have improved stealth technology to increase its chances of survival. At present, tanks have to be shipped to their destinations. But at 40 tons, this future tank is so light, it could be airlifted to face the enemy within hours. Every tank commander is keen to get his hands on this latest technology. It's larger than just, when do you need a new tank? Um, as a tanker, I would love to have one right away. But realistically, it probably uh, will be quite some time before we see another a revolution in, in the design. Perhaps an even more astonishing development is the plastic tank. On this prototype, the plastic armor is incredibly light and strong. This tank is undergoing tests to investigate whether this lightweight armor will stand up to the rigors of battle. This tank could even be parachuted out of a plane. This type of technological breakthrough ensures that the tank will remain a major fighting force well into the next millennium. The thought of being able to take and apply technology to increase the protection level and the survivability of the soldiers is very exciting. It is something that I think everyone's desire is to put the best equipment in the hands of the best soldiers in the world. Uh, that's, what it, that's what we're here for, that's what we want to do, and that's the whole goal of future combat systems.